Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to look at the acceleration of a body. So we're going to establish rigid body motion and derive the acceleration equation. So by rigid body motion, we mean all particles of the fluid move with the same velocity and acceleration. So we know that in a stationary fluid, there is no horizontal pressure change. So dp on dx equals dp on dy is zero and we also know that uh, pressure varies with depth according to dp on dz equals negative rho g uh, but in accelerating fluids things are different say we have a container full of fluid and we accelerate it uh, this is 3d of course so we accelerate it in one direction at a velocity a which is three-dimensional so our acceleration would be axi plus ayj plus azk if we consider a small element in the fluid um, and we consider the forces on it uh, enacted on it by the acceleration then we get pressure forces on either side so on the left we'll have the pressure force multiplied by the area of the side of the element so we'll have FL acting here FR acting here uh, where FL equals the pressure on the left hand side which is PL we'll denote as PL multiplied by the area which is dy times dz and doing the same for the right hand side fr is the pressure on the right hand side multiplied by dy dz and if we take the sum of moments in the x direction and apply newton's second law of motion then we get sum of moments in the x direction equal to fl minus fr which equals ma x according to newton's second law of motion so if we expand that all we'll get dy dz equals rho dx dy dz which is the volume of the uh, small element we're considering and multiplying that by ax so we know that those cancel dy dz cancel from each side and we're left with pl minus pr equals rho dx ax